Aquarius fans, uh, today I'm going to do something I usually don't do, but I had the guy reach out to me about setting up a AMS 2000 with a Holly EFI unit. So, first thing, you want to open up your Holly EFI software, and uh, if you don't have a global file, let's go ahead and create one. And for the sake of this video, I'll just rush through this with this setup part. Okay, so after you have a global file set up, uh, first thing first, you want to add your ICFs. So to knock that out, the first one we're going to add is the I.O., which is inputs, outputs. Uh, I'll use the MSD Pro 600. Next, uh, nitrous. This is key. Wet, non-progressive. Next is advanced. If you don't know about advanced tables, I strongly advise reading all of this right here, everything. All right, first thing you wanna do, go to inputs, outputs. Let's go inside here, input number one. Name it AMS 2000 input. When I enable that, set it up as five volts. Then you want to go to configure and scroll down here. Go to custom five volts, set it up as a percentage. Format, leave it as one. Sensor man, zero. Sensor max, a hundred. Hundred percent, leave this as zero or re-enter it if you're a robot use. Uh, I'll post a picture of the voltage for the bottom part right here. Uh, I believe the first number, I mean, I'm just guessing 0.04, something like that. Uh, but it will be a picture on exactly how to set it up. Next, after that, Close out of this, go to nitrous, to input number one enabled, check that box. And I usually go with, I don't know, 85, 90 for your TPS trigger. That's pretty important. Uh, then you wanna go to stage one. It, it's, a, it's a must, like, I can't, I can't advise how much this needs to be on. Wet kit, non-progressive. So, input one will disable this stage. Uh, I used to stick with either 2,500 or 3,000 for the minimum. And then maximum, I don't I don't quite know. Whatever your combo might want to be. If you're running the LS deal, maybe 7,500. Uh, stage duration, five seconds. Uh, pedal strategy, pause enabled. And if you want to run closed loop, I guess turn it on. Uh, <laughs> put it on 11 if you have to. Put it on 10. Put it on 8. Put it on 14, 15. It don't matter. Just messing around. Now, next thing, you want to click on inputs, outputs. And however you wiring it, it can be a ground or a trevor trigger. Uh... Same thing for the enable. Now, the important part about this right here, stage one out, it must be PWM plus, which is 12 volts. That's basically gonna act as a wide open throttle switch that you would have like on a copperator. That's why we're running wet kit, non-progressive. So basically, when you go to the floor with this stage, it's gonna be 100%, gonna send full 12 volts to the AMS. So next, and your advanced table, 1D, let's name this, I don't know, uh, nitrous pounds per hour. Table type, fuel flow offset, X axis, uh, 
It's going to be that input that we just created, AMS 2000 input. Switch enable. The way this table is going to work is nitrous stage one out is enabled. I don't know, uh, you run running a small kit, 150 pounds per hour. Uh, that's just something you got to play around with. And as you know, this is input it, what we just put in for that table. So basically what this is, is if you had a stage two, I mean, well, any kind of stage, if you was using a progressive, either wet, well, yeah, never mind. Dry it would be dry progressive. That's basically we took this from out of here and transferred it over to an advanced table because we don't have the option of reading that input on this added fuel enrichment. So, no more of that, at least for this setup with the AMS 2000. And then, uh, after that, you just want to run over. your AMS 2000, let it boot up. Taking a little while here. Okay, so uh, I already got a tune saved for this. So Gonna go in here, go to system, primary output. You can't really, you can't disable this view. So uh, I'll just show you at the end of the video what you do with the view section. Set your hertz to, you know, whatever you're gonna put them on, whatever signal you're using. Use my throttle recovery strategy, uh, or if you got your own key thing, main key thing, is enable this box cut this output on this is this is what the holly is going to read next got the tps calibration uh the way i do it cut your ignition on and the uh, ams or notches enabled then you're going to click this check box it will read whatever is in this box and it'll be live I'm not hooked up to a car, so I can't show you. Next, you want to go to the floor, and you want to click. Same thing. It'll input the value that's shown here. It'll be live. Next, you want to go to setup one, and I don't run. You don't have to run the throttle or the RPM or nothing like that because the holly is done. Everything is done right here in the holly. So, uh, if you have FD ratios and stuff hooked up, you could use those maybe. Uh, I wouldn't suggest it, but I would go to the, then you go to the active time and whatever you want to set this thing up as and uh, keep the few post width on zero and pretty much that's how you do it. It's pretty simple. You got any questions? Uh, comment below on this YouTube video or uh, shoot me a message on Facebook or however you need to.